Hello, Planes of Loker. Welcome to One Pack of Magic, where we open One Pack of Magic Cards. And it is Mystery Pack Monday, so we must also ask one of the great mysteries of the universe. Like, why is abbreviated such a long word? Anyway, let's start off the week right, or wrong, or weirdly. I don't know. We'll find out when we get into it. Alright. Bob. Alright, starting off with Silver Flame Ritual from Throne of Eldraine. Three and white sorcery, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature you control. Adamant, not to be confused with Adamant, the 80s pop singer. Uh, if at least three white mana was spent to cast a spell, creatures you control gain vigilance until end of turn. Nice. Changeling Outcast. What happened? He wasn't changing to something? He stayed the same. That was his problem. Anyway, it's from Modern Horizons 1. Or Modern Horizons. Uh, single black shapeshifter 1-1 one, one, changeling. This card is every creature type. Changing creature changing outcast can't block or be and can't be blocked. Okay. Well that's stupid. Rose Thorn Halberd from Throne of Eldraine. Single green artifact. When Rose Thorn Halberd enters the battlefield, attach it to target non human creature you control. So you can't take, attach it to this changeling because it's human. And it's also not human, so. Equip creature gets plus two plus one. Equip for five. Five attached target. Attached, sorcery. Flummoxed Cyclops. Well, I wouldn't blame the guy. Uh, three and a red. It's from Theros Beyond Death. Cyclops, obvs. Four, four with reach. And whenever two or more creatures you can, our opponents, your opponents control attack, Flummoxed Cyclops can't block this combat. Oh. Because you can't see both of them. Nyxborn Colossus. Ooh. Three, three and three green. It's from Throne of uh, it's from Theris Beyond Death. Enchantment Giant. Six, seven, and flavor text. Because what more do you need? But, one pack combo makes him an eight. This makes him an eight, eight. Just give the guy trample in your set. <clears throat> it's still pretty nasty. Memory Thief. Memory Theft. From Throne of Eldraine. Two and a black sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. You may put a card that has an adventure that player owns from exile into that player's graveyard. Ah. Change of memory. The other way. Uh, it's Theros Beyond Test. Single blue instant. Target creature gets minus four, minus zero until end of turn. Scry two. Knight of the Keep. Two and a white. Human Knight. Three two with flavor text. That's from Throne of Eldraine. Which, um, um, it's a 50-50 right now. Half from Throne, half from Theros, so... Towering Wave Mystic, speaking of which, Theros Beyond Death, one and a blue, Mirfolk Wizard, 2-1, whenever Towering Wave Mystic deals damage, target player puts the, that many cards from the top of their graveyard, in from the top of their library, into their graveyard. Hmm. Target player mills that many cards. Blow your house down. From Throne of Eldrain. Two and a red sorcery. Up to three target creatures can't block this turn. Destroy any of them that are walls. Pesky walls. Now we're getting somewhere. Wild Shape. From Adventures in the Forgotten Realm. I haven't done, that. I haven't done any cards of that in forever. I mean, maybe I have that a weekend. Anyway. 
Boston Green Instant, choose one. Until in a turn, target creature you control has that base power and toughness, becomes that creature type, and gains that ability. 1-3 Turtle with Hexproof, 1-5 Spider with Reach, or 3-3 three, three Elephant with Trample. Some pretty wild shapes. Sunset Pyramid from Hour of Devastation. It's a two-drop artifact. Sunset Pyramid enters the battlefield with three brick counters on it. Two, tap, remove a brick counter, draw a card. Two, tap, scry one. Decades to build, hours to demolish. Yeah, well, that, that's how it goes. Mirfolk Skydiver from War of the Spark. Green, blue, Mirfolk Mutant. 1-1 one, one with flying. That'll do it. When Mirfolk Skydiver enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. 3 green blue proliferate. Choosing a number of permanents and our players and give each counter to give each another counter of its of each kind already there. Oh. So you can give that one an extra brick counter. There you go. So we got oh, we got a spirit from Neon Dynasty. And a thopter. Thopter. Thopper thumper. Thopper thumper. Uh we got planes from War of the Spark. And our rare is Oracle's Vault. From Emon Cat. Which we did well, we did that for the summer solstice. Four drop artifact. Pay two. Tap. Exile the top card of your library. Until the end of the turn, you may play that card. Put a brick counter on Oracle's Vault. Tap. Exile the top card of your library. Until the end of the turn, you may play that card without paying its mana cost. Activate its ability only if there are three or more brick counters on Oracle's Vault. Ooh. That would also work with uh, Proliferate. Give both of them an extra... Speed up the uh, brick counter on that and... Um, Put some more brick counters on that. So, there's your... There's a couple one-pack combos. Uh, let's do the rundown. Too. I like this kit. I like this. So, I would definitely... Obviously, I'm finding uses for it left, right, and center. So, that's a good card. Um, that's not bad. I mean, you, you pay... Yeah, exile like a land, you can play it. <laughs> exile three lands, and then boom. But yeah, it become, after a couple of rounds, that becomes free. So that's always good. I, that, mm, I'm kind of quandary. Uh, this one's good. I mean, even, you know, even with it becoming useless in a couple of rounds, yeah, this guy's all right. Uh, this one's good. I do like that. Um, it's an instant, so you can turn an animal, turn a creature in anything. So, let's just make a 1-5 spider with reach. That's always fun. Um, sideboard. Because if your opponent's playing with a lot of walls, boom. There you go. Otherwise, eh. I mean, up to three creatures can't block. That's not bad. That is not bad. Um... Pump up their yeah, their damage, like with say uh, silver flame ritual. They become a three two. Yeah, just that could be very nasty if you made them the stronger you make them, the nastier becomes because keeps milling guard. They make your opponent mill cards, so that but you got to be careful. Because sometimes some, you know, if they have cards that, you know, oh, if they hit graveyard, this happens, or they can pull them from graveyard, it becomes a problem. Eh. Nothing really going on with them, so I'm mm, not feeling it, I'm going to be honest. Um, yeah. If someone's got a big nasty coming at you, boom, they're not so nasty anymore. This one's good. I mean, it's got some extra oomph if they have that in play. But, you know, even as is, 
choose a non-land card, destroy, discard. Uh, big old Stompy, what else is there to say? Of course, if you, well, I mean, if you're green, you'll have ways to get more mana out, so you can probably get them out late, like, at turn four. So, that would be pretty nasty. Um, it's got reach, but if your opponent's got more creatures attacking, then they're useless. So, that is, like I said, that is kind of useless. Um, that, that single drop artifact for two and two one. So yeah, I do like that. First round and creature can't block or be blocked. Can't block and can't be blocked. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, I got it. So you could send them out to attack, and they'll just zoop, right through. Uh, but I mean, if you're attacking, you can't block. So. And this is pretty good. Everyone gets plus one, plus one vigilance. So, yeah, that's pretty nasty. Uh, MVP, I'm going to give two of them, actually. Uh, yeah, it's pretty high, but if you're late late enough in the game, that gets pretty nasty. Um, do like Oracle's deck, because like I said, after three rounds, you can um, tap and exile for free. Uh, so, that's pretty nasty, and proliferate, proliferate makes everything nastier, so. That is Mystery Pack Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a magical day.